What is up guys, how's it going? This is Jack James and in this video, we are going to talk about the things you need to check before buying a used MacBook. Or even let's say you just bought a used MacBook, it is still important to check some things before you use your computer. I usually buy my computer on eBay and I don't have any chance to test the computer before buying it. But if you are buying locally in person, make sure to bring the following before you schedule to meet up with the seller. A Bluetooth compatible device, I prefer this Logitech mouse because it is very easy to connect. For the newer models, bring a USB-C type cable, which this mouse have as well. And for the older models, you need a SD card with files on it, preferably a video content. And if possible, always bring an extra charger with you. You will also need a USB drive with movie or music in it. And I would like to add pictures of different solid color backgrounds to test for dead pixels, which I will put in the link description below. Another things we need to consider when meeting up in person is to make sure to meet up in a public place for safety. And make sure as well to meet up in a place with a Wi-Fi access whenever you buy a computer. So the first thing we need to check in the MacBook is its cosmetic condition. Make sure everything is fine and check if there are any other issues that are not indicated in the listing. And as we open the laptop, we need to check the hinge if it's loose. Make sure it is tight and it can hold its own in any angles. Check as well if there's any scratches on the screen because sometimes the pictures they post in the listing isn't really the best and retina screen in general are very expensive to replace. So upon turning on the laptop, make sure to click the Apple logo in the top left corner of the menu bar and go to about this Mac. And here we can see most of the specs like the year model, CPU, RAM, serial number, and storage. And check if the specs matches what's on the listing. And any discrepancies in the specs will drastically change the value of the laptop because MacBook Pros in general are non-upgradable, especially in the newer models. Check as well the serial number if it matches the serial number in the bottom plate of the laptop. If it doesn't match, ask the seller why because he might bought a replacement bottom plate that you can usually find in eBay. So it doesn't always mean that it is stolen or anything, but for the peace of mind, avoid this if possible. In our next test, again click the Apple logo and this time press and hold the option key and it will let you access the system information. Or another way of doing it is to click the About Mac. And beside the software update, click the System Report. And it will show you all the detailed specs of the computer. And I want you to click on Power and look for the battery cycle count. And the lower the count, the better. And as you can see on mine, it is over a thousand cycle count, which needs to be replaced, especially if you're planning to use it for many more years. And these are the things that you might need to negotiate with the seller if you know that you will be replacing some parts. And if possible, connect the MacBook to a Wi-Fi network. That's why it is important to meet up in a public place that offers access to a free Wi-Fi. But if there's no Wi-Fi in the area, you can use your phone and you can use its Wi-Fi hotspot feature. And once connected to the internet, you can watch a few YouTube videos and check if the speakers are working. And it's now time to check the hardware. First thing to check is the webcam, and this is pretty straight up. Just open any app that will activate the webcam, and this time, let's try the FaceTime app. And as you can see, it is working pretty well. And this time, let's proceed to my favorite, the keyboard test. <sighs> Not that kind of keyboard test. This older Retina MacBook Pros has a great keyboards, and we can check it by going to the notes and click all the keys as well as the function keys. Or what you can also do to check the keyboard is to go to system preferences, select keyboard, and check the show keyboard in emoji viewers. And in the menu bar, this icon will pop up. And once clicked, a virtual keyboard will appear. And every time you press a key, it will light up. 
Make sure as well that the keyboard has a good key travel and there shouldn't be any hard or sticky keys because it might be a sign of a liquid damage. Don't also forget to check if the backlight of the keyboard is working. Now let's check the trackpad. From 2015 to the newer models, MacBook Pros uses a force touch trackpad and this allows you to click anywhere in the trackpad. And it also has a secondary click that will let you access the dictionary whenever you deep press on a word. This trackpad also doesn't click if the computer is turned off because it doesn't have any mechanical springs on it. And now it's time to check the ports. And let's start with the USB ports. We have a USB drive here with movie files on it. Let's click it open. And as the movie is playing, adjust the volume and make sure there's no audio distortion. It's also time for us to connect the headphones or earphones in this case and check if it's working. And if you have an Apple earphones like this, the volume rocker should work to adjust the volume. I also included a folder that contains an image file of a different solid colored background to check for the dead pixel. Or if you are connected to the internet, there are dead pixel tests that you can play on YouTube like this one and as the color changes, pause it and inspect the screen. Now let's proceed to the SD card slot. And we have a SD card here that we can test. And make sure that it has a file on it. And you can also try to transfer the file into the computer to make sure that it is working properly. Don't also forget to check the Bluetooth connection. And what I have here is the Logitech MX Master 3, which is easy to connect. And to connect to the computer, go to System Preference, click Bluetooth, and make sure it is on. And I'll just turn on the mouse and pair it. And as we can see, it is now detected by the computer. And press Connect and check if it's working. And make sure the mouse is responsive and this should be good. The next thing to check is the microphone. To check if it's working, Go to System Preference, click Sound, and go to Input, and make sure the internal microphone is selected. You can gently tap the mic, or snap your fingers, and check if the input level is responding whenever you make a sound. The mic in this 13-inch 2015 MacBook Pro is located in the left side of the MacBook, beside the headphone jack. Make sure as well that there are no accounts that are currently signed in in the computer. Check the App Store, iCloud, or FaceTime app if any account are currently signed in. Don't also forget to restart the computer to check if there's any password on the lock screen. When the computer is restarting, there's one more test that we need to do. And as we hear the computer chimes, press and hold D. And Apple Diagnostics will run automatically. It will also ask you to connect the charger in the computer. And this process may take a while. And after that, Restart the computer again. Once restarted, again, go to System Information and click Diagnostics. And it will show you that it has passed the diagnostics. So guys, there you have it. Those are the things that you need to check when buying a used MacBook Pro. Just always remember when buying in person that you must always take your time in checking the computer to avoid any problems later. If you see any issues that is not included in their listing, try to negotiate with the seller. But if it's a major issue that involves replacing the screen, especially for the Retina models, it is better for you to look for other listings because they are very expensive to replace. I bought this computer knowing that it has cosmetic flaws, like the delamination of the screen that can be fixed and is common on the Retina screen and even the newer model has this issue. And one more thing, if you are just switching from Windows to Mac or just new to Apple computers, and you are about to buy your first Mac, I would suggest to do a lot of research in the specific model you are buying along with the issues associated with it that we will talk about in the next videos to come. So if you think that this video makes a lot of sense to you, please hit the like button. And for more videos like this, click subscribe. Until next time, see you soon.